I'm back. <laughs> so I was just having a moment with God and praying and thinking. I rewatched the video that I'm posting now, and I got to thinking about it and have the conversation with God about making another video. And I asked him if he would do that for me because. If this is truly his spirit speaking through me and working through me, then he would, one of the main messages that he would want to get out to us, and it kind of came out in the last video about the 11th hour and the sky and the clouds being relevant. You know, one day we are going to run out of time. And our world is just so broken that it always makes me feel like I get up in the morning sometimes. I always get up super early. I've told you guys that before. And when I go outside some mornings, it's so still and so quiet. And I'm right here in the middle of the city. And it's just so still and so quiet that I often wake up and wonder, you know, did Jesus come last night and leave me behind? But he wouldn't do that because he knows I love him with all my heart. And above everything else in this world, my desire is that I do his will. That I follow him so closely that I wouldn't even recognize him if he came back with a cape, a red cape and horns. Because somebody had deceived me into thinking that that was somehow not him. You know, I want to recognize him. And they say that his sheep know his voice. So I truly believe that I know his voice. And that this is the way that he chooses to speak to me. This is the creative way for whatever reason he chooses to speak to me. Um, and I'm so grateful for that. Because it's allowed me to meet people that I never would have been able to meet. And I never want to lose track of that. Help me, Spirit. If you only knew how hard of a lesson I had to learn. We were talking about Dean in the last video, and that's what kind of, when I, when I heard myself say that, it kind of reminded me, you know, he and I had become good friends, and we spent a lot of time together. Not enough, but enough that we were friends but that day that he passed away he asked me what came next and I was in a place in life where I don't know that I gave him a good answer and that's haunted me for a long time But I know he's with me because I can sense him and feel him and he speaks to me even. My candle's going freaking nuts over here. <laughs> I wish you could see it. He's let me know many times that he's okay. <laughs> and I know that he would even want me to tell you that there's hope in Jesus because there is and now I'm going to show you through the cards because this is the Holy Spirit <clears throat> so. and maybe that's what judgment could represent too and we have to always be ready and we have to always keep oil in our lamps we should always have oil in our lamps once again I have a card that's upside down <laughs> always keep oil in our lamps because we don't know the hour or the day when he will return. But he will return. He will return one day. And I'm by no means trying to say that it's going to be today or even tomorrow or even in the next few years. Because I think we still have a, a little bit more time left on this earth. But 
we should always live every minute as if it's our last. We should never take any, anything, including one another, for granted. Because we never know when it's going to be the last time we see somebody. Okay. So, let's see what Spirit has to say about the message I'm giving you now. And I've already explained to you that the King of Hearts, the King of Fire, could represent Jesus. <laughs> to talk about the Empress being in the upright. Okay, Spirit, can you please speak to us? Whatever message you want to speak to us. Because that's true regardless. Okay, I have the High Priestess, the downloads from Spirit. Speaking to you a divine message about harvest time. <laughs> I love you, Spirit. <laughs> I love you. I mean, ta da! <laughs> and ha somehow that's going to lead to some kind of divine relationship. <laughs> That one I'm going to leave alone. I'm not going to even clarify this because there's no need. I will get some Heal Yourself cards because I love them. And I, I want to know how we can heal ourselves. Spirit, speak to us. Spirit, there's a lot. <laughs> if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, please talk to him because he loves you and he wants you to be his friend. <laughs> okay. Be wild. Be courageous. You got help from above to stop selling out. It's okay to be wild and be free and be you. Just make sure you got your oil in your lamp. <clears throat> God's going to give us courage. We got help from above. Our loved ones that have crossed over do hear us. They are with us. The veil is here for us, not for them. The veil is here so we can have privacy in our human experience. But the truth is, is that if you go beyond that veil, they're right there. And that's what I try to do is to, to go beyond that veil. Okay, but we don't have to die we don't have to die. We can we can have eternal life. Wow, Spirit, you're amazing. The moon again, the ocean again. Somehow this man and woman are relevant. Maybe that's the divine relationship. Wild and courageous. <sighs> Thank you, Spirit. Thank it, please. Let's see what's on the bottom of this deck. Love. <laughs> okay. Thank it, please, Spirit. Those two hearts connected that I always get. A music note. That Holy Spirit fire, that oil in your lamp, a unicorn, because I am definitely not a regular horse, <laughs> and hopefully you're not either. Not one, but two butterflies, two butterflies, I can't hold on to one of them, but I got it, wonder who that could represent, <laughs> maybe my bench. And then that four-leaf clover I was talking about a while ago. Those four-leaf clovers. Because they show up a lot too. And I finally figured out why. Okay, here the other new trinket bowl. What do you want to say from the new trinket bowl? Goodness gracious. A lot is what you want to say. I keep getting this little rocking horse. I kind of think I know what it represents. Okay. 
the love between a grandmother and granddaughter is forever and it definitely is my grandma taught me how to play cards we got a compass maybe we're finally headed in the right direction <laughs> always with a heart you are my sunshine <laughs> And that's on one of my cards. You're my sunshine on one of the cards that I made. I saw that this morning too. I love you, Infinity. I love you too. And then that one that says a lot, the one that I've told you about before, compassionate, kind, free, true to yourself, happy, thankful, at peace, and brave. And yes, I'm at peace. I'm finally at peace with everything. And then an angel is with you. More than one, I'm sure. Okay, I've said what I need to say now. I love you. God loves you. Jesus loves you. The Holy Spirit loves you. We're all one. And I'm just grateful for those of you who have been with me from the beginning. And that will hopefully continue to be. And will talk to me. <laughs> Bye. Have a great day.